our workers. The first Labor Day holiday was celebrated Tuesday, September 5th, 1882 in New York City. It was a time set aside to appreciate all the contributions of workers. Then in 1894, Congress passed an act making the first Monday in September of each year a legal holiday known as Labor Day. But 70 years after the signing, workers were struggling to get ahead. That's why in 1964, President Lyndon Johnson declared a war on poverty. At that time, the country's poverty rate was 19%. Today, it sits at around 11%. WBTV's Dedrick Russell gives us a history lesson about the status on the war on poverty. It's tonight's cover story. As we celebrate this Labor Day and honor the men and women who spend each day working to make a living, we can't forget many still struggle. They live in poverty, about 40 million in America. 60 years ago, President Lyndon B. Johnson declared war on poverty. Dr. Mark Kelso is a professor of political science at Queens University. He gives a lesson on why Johnson had poverty on his mind. Johnson had a very strong personal connection to poverty. He had not grown up in a a very prosperous environment. He had taught uh, in a very poor area. He taught in a predominantly Latino school in Texas and you know, just some of the worst poverty you could imagine. So he had a very, very strong personal connection. He, something he, I think, legitimately cared about and they cared about in a very deep way. After President Johnson declared the war on poverty, programs to help tackle poverty started popping up in 1965. And in 65, you see things like the uh, Elementary and Secondary Education Act, you see Medicare, Medicaid, those kinds of things. So um, he was able to move on it pretty quickly because the political situation, you know, really fell in his favor. And the impact, did, did the needle move? One of the big criticisms is that it didn't work. Well, it did. Um, I, I think poverty dropped by about, overall poverty dropped by about a third within the first 10 years. And poverty among uh, those over 65 dropped by about two thirds, maybe because of Medicare. So it did work. As time went on and U.S. presidents changed, the professor says the war on poverty diminished. Well, I would set the key date at 1980. Uh, that's when Ronald Reagan is elected. Um, and Reagan comes into office with a very kind of anti government mentality, uh, very conservative economic philosophy. And that doesn't sit well with a number of things. And, you know, war and poverty programs are, are one of them. There's this idea that people are just, you know, living on government handouts and stuff like that. Fast forward to today, several local organizations have popped up to help fight the war. Are they enough to make an impact? Those are great. I mean, I'm, I'm nothing against charity or nonprofits, but they just don't have the, the resources that a government would. You had a question. One of those local organizations is leading on opportunity. It was set up in 2017 to solve a question. Why who are born into poverty in Charlotte can't get out of it? In 2014, a study ranked Charlotte 50 out of 50 when it comes to economic mobility. Today, Charlotte is 38th. Progress is definitely being made. Sherry Chisholm is the executive director for Leading on Opportunity. This is long work. And so while I know that there was potentially a commitment to having solved, again, what seems like an intractable issue like poverty, to me it's a reminder that we have to keep going. Leading on Opportunity looks for strategies such as building people's social capital and stabilizing families as ways to eliminate poverty in Charlotte communities. We help funders make smarter investments and nonprofits deliver um, strong programming. So I'm encouraged by our continued commitment and believe that we will make the change that we want to see happen. Even if it's not in this generation, we'll see it in years to come. Do you think we will ever win the war on poverty? <laughs> yeah, that's a hard question. <laughs> Uh, ideally, you know, I'd like to say yes, but probably no. I think poverty is probably going to be with us for a long time, unfortunately. In Charlotte, Dedrick Russell, WBTV, on your side. Looking for signs of progress, though. Uh, Dedrick, thank you. Let's get another check on our.